The van's a little sick. Can you see it? We can't drive it. Well, we can't drive it much. We're going to get it fixed, rum, though. Rum, <laughs> rum, Maybe rum. I'll just let you drive it. Could you drive the van? I uh, know. Greetings from the desert. <laughs> We're still here at the escapees rally. So yesterday, yeah, this happened. We spent, we as in mostly some of the guys here at the campground helping me out, spent two or three hours getting this thing lifted and figuring out what is going on with the leak in the middle of the van. Turns out it was a diesel leak, <laughs> uh, but we were able to get it up and then started to pull down everything to see exactly where it was leaking and what part we needed to replace that part. But in the process of pulling that down, had to remove some of the lines that are going to the fuel tank and uh, one of those lines cracked. It's no longer a let's climb underneath the van kind of project, it's a let's get it to a shop kind of project. So at this point, we're gonna try to get the line back on enough where it's not leaking, get it to a shop, and hopefully we can get this thing fixed and it not take weeks. But first things first, just because I don't know how long we're gonna be without the van, i um, gonna start taking out things that I think I might need if it's gone for a weekish. I'm optimistically hoping it won't be that long, but you never know. <laughs> I think we got all our stuff out. It's looking really, um, Really nice and tidy out here. <laughs> well, when everything you own is in the van, it's like, you know, that's a lot of our story. Well, we left a lot of it. We tried to just grab what we thought we might need to leave for a week. But we're gonna take it easy on the van. We're gonna try to get it there. We did find a place that said they could get, at least start on it today with us. Um, I've got Shane, he's been helping me with this. He's gonna be following me in a truck. Let me know if he sees anything fishy going on, all that kind of stuff, and um, yeah. Hopefully get this thing fixed. Saying goodbye to the van, hopefully not for too long. Said they're gonna look at it in about an hour, so hopefully we'll know something pretty quick. This is Shane, by the way. It's pretty, oh, you're, you're filming. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty live. epic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's see. pretty epic. Uh, it's a uh, gorilla pod you got going on there. My right arm is like three times stronger than my left. <laughs> <I bet. laughs> my left's like a 10 year old girl, so. Right. <laughs> well, Shane's going to help me van. find the guy that did this to my van. I'm yes. going to hold him down and he's going to kick him. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to pour oil down his throat. <laughs> and as far as like major things going wrong with the van, we really haven't had that much go wrong with the van. Because I know some of you may be between a van or a truck and pros and cons. Problem comes with the van is the labor. I mean, it could be two, three times more because you have to move things to get to things. I don't think this is going to be one of those deals where it's an, an insane amount of labor but definitely once you start getting under the hood um, it could be bad doing errands with Shane because well he followed me out here and he can do whatever he wants so um, <laughs> uh, he picked up uh, this drill power pump plug in you know your hose into one end you take that little little deal and you and you put it in this end put your drill on it and I was speaking to somebody who already has a lot of experience with this and he was saying it takes about eight minutes to unload 55 gallons of water which is pretty quick Made it back. The van's at the doctor. It's getting worked on. And the doctor says it's a car. Hey, <laughs> Danny's like, wait a minute, this is a car. He may. Back. He may it say that. Back. She's getting some lunch ready. Looks like sandwich day. <laughs> it is. Did you have fun playing in the sand? Yeah. Yeah, that's one thing about being in the desert. There's lots of sand in there. I know I mentioned van versus like truck, but then you've also got sort of the debate with this that comes to mind is like um, having a towable, whether it's a van or a truck or whatever, towing something versus a motorhome. Because it hit me that, what if this exact same thing had happened with our 40 foot Numar? Um, you know, if it had a gas leak, we couldn't possibly work on it where we're at and we had to go get it fixed. 
because once you have something the size of a class A, a lot of your regular mechanics have to be ruled out because they can't work on something that big. Their bays can't handle it. So you're looking for a place that works on large trucks or an RV dealer. Uh, first of all, there's not as many of those places. So you may have to drive farther. And then second of all, uh, you might have to wait to get in, uh, especially a dealer. Uh, dealers are backed up. There's a lot of people wanting RVs worked on and dealers just can't handle the load. I mean, it could be weeks sometimes to get an RV worked on from a dealer. So I think if you're debating towable versus motorhome, at least in this situation, um, I'm glad that we have a towable because I think it's going to be easier to get worked on. So the two times I think we see Hensley the happiest are when she uh, is playing with Play-Doh and when she's dessert. <laughs> I'm not there with her on the Play-Doh. I do enjoy Play-Doh. Maybe Legos I might hum, but uh, definitely, definitely the dessert. You'll catch me humming or singing while eating dessert sometimes. Hey, Hensley, do you miss the van? Yes, it moved. The doctor take it. Yeah, the doctor's working on it. Miss it. Woo! It's a car! <laughs> yeah. Well, I think the doctor said, woo, it's a van, because uh, we got our quote back on the van. It's not good. So they quoted us $913 to fix the van. It's like for a dripping diesel. Like it's so funny, something that looks so small and so insignificant, um, that's before tax. So it's pretty much gonna be a grand. The main part is the fuel filter housing, I think is what they called it. I know you guys that know about this, there probably are cheaper options. That part was like over 500 bucks and it's straight from GMC. They're shipping it from like Detroit. Um, so it's gonna be like two or three days before we get our van back. Best case scenario. Just the hose that we need to replace was 120 bucks. It's a very expensive hose to me. It's also coming from Detroit. And then there's like two and a half hours labor, which from what I understand and talking to people, two and a half hours labor is understandable, but that's pretty high on the parts. So I think there are other options. There might be OEM options. There might be a, I think there's like a rebuild kit option, but you know, we got it sitting there in the shop. We need it to work. We need it to work right. We're just going to pay the money and get our van back. I'm chasing you, Dad. Dad, I ain't going to get you. Don't you get me. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things that's pretty neat about rallies is they have um, like talks or seminars or just ways to learn, I guess, however you want to look at it. Uh, Marissa's already gone over here to a uh, one about blogging. Here's the main area where everybody's meeting. Which between the wind, the van, and our toddler, we have not made it to very often. <laughs> oh, thank you. So pretty good day considering, well, it was an up and down day, but not happy about the thousand dollars, but we're excited to be here and we're excited to the people we ran into. Marissa had to get the blogging thing go pretty well. Yeah. You a pro now? Good information. I need to get back riding again. It's got me motivated. <laughs> we were Did doing you posts. Know we even had a blog. Yeah. Some yeah. Lessjunkmorejourney.com. Uh, we were doing one almost every week and then we just so I've got a lot of information on there. There's already a lot there, but we I haven't done anything in a while. Start, it's tough I'm to do it all. I'm gonna start doing it again. You gonna say that on here? Yeah. I'm all right. Start, all right. She said even if it's once a month. Once a month, I'm gonna start blogging. Well, we've got a newsletter sign up, lessjunkmorejourney.com. Um, worst case, you'll only get an email once a month. So if you don't like getting <laughs> a lot of email, it'll work out for you. Uh, Marissa's said publicly she's gonna get that thing going. <laughs> I enjoy it. I enjoy blogging. I enjoy writing. It's just a different way of, of communicating. Some people, you know, like to visually see it and some people like to read it. And I like to do a mix. I like to show our videos and talk about it, so. Blend it. Yeah, yeah. it's got a blend of everything in it. That's what I like, so. Um, well, I appreciate Shane um, <laughs> taking me to get the truck today. I tell you what, we had, we've had so much help with this van. Like amazing. when it, like three guys, like you would not believe the power tools that came out when that van needed to be worked on and we were trying to get it fixed here. I mean, we couldn't pull it off, but I mean, um, we had that thing jacked up. We had just an air compressor and, you know, just all kinds of stuff going that I had no clue people even had with them on the road. It was like we were in like a me mechanic shop or something. Um, the RVing community is so friendly in. and yes. so helpful. Yes. And I'm just overwhelmed with kindness. Like yeah. they are. You never have to worry because somebody's going to help you out. And, yeah. and then you just return the favor. It's just... Mm. 
it's just a really cool community to be involved with. Well, it's like the definition of a community because certain people have certain things that other people don't have. Mm -hmm. certain, sometimes it's a skill, sometimes it's a tool. Um, and you just chip in what you can, uh, when you can. And then we love doing the same thing for everybody when we can too. We're gonna watch um, another desert sunset. If you have not ever seen a desert sunset in person, um, pretty amazing. Beautiful. Uh, one of my the favorites. colors, yes. and I love how yes. it changes the mountain colors. Yes. They look red, it's beautiful, I love it. Well, we're gonna watch this sunset and we will catch you guys later. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs>